have you ever wondered why leaves change color? Let's find out! Hey everybody, welcome to the classroom. So if you live anywhere around here, or even around here, then there's a good chance that you've seen leaves change color in autumn or the fall. But why does this happen? Well, it actually has something to do with pigments. <laughs> Bacon flavored mints. <laughs> no, not those kinds of pigments. I'm talking about pigments the chemicals that make colors in plants and leaves. From reds to yellows to greens and oranges and browns, all the colors and leaves are made from just a couple of pigments. You know, this would be a lot more fun to learn about outside. Whew. This is an electro bioenhancing human transmitter. It's a teleportation device. And with it, I just Twist it like this, and... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! That didn't work too well. Oh. But look, leaves! So most of the time, leaves look green. And that's because of a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll! Hey, that's the green stuff. Now, to explain chlorophyll, we'll have to take another field trip. Phew, do you know where we are right now? We're at a solar farm. These are solar panels. They capture the light energy from the sun and turn it into energy that we can use to power our homes and even our cities. Do you know that plants have solar panels too? They do, I'm serious. Here, let me show you. <sighs> Phew, that was a little bit better. All right, so every leaf on the tree has these solar panels called chloroplasts which capture the light energy from the sun and turn it into food for the plant. Chloroplasts. You know, that sounds a lot like chlorophyll. Hey, I remember that word. There you go. So these solar panels, the chloroplasts, contain the green color, the pigment called chlorophyll, which means that the sun, which gives energy to the plants through the chloroplast, is connected to why leaves are green. Let's go back to the classroom and do some critical thinking. All right, so we observed that the leaves always change color in the fall. And we just learned that the chlorophyll, the green color in the leaf, is caused by the sun. You know, there must be a connection here. Is there anything that we can observe about the sun and autumn or fall? Hmm, I wonder. What about this? I've noticed that the days are shorter in the fall than they are in the summer. The sun actually sets earlier in the fall. And if the sun sets earlier, that means that there may be less light energy from the sun for the leaves to capture. Which means that there also may be less chlorophyll, the green pigment in the leaf. Let's look in a book to check our hypothesis. Yes, here it is. As the days get shorter, the tree senses that winter is coming. And so it sucks up all the water and nutrients and energy from the leaves and it stores it in the trunk. Here, imagine it like this. Imagine this. You have solar panels on the roof of your house. And let's pretend that they cost $100 a day to use. Now in the summer, with the sun shining bright, you save $1,000 a day worth of energy by using the solar panels. Which means that the $100 you spend isn't a big deal. Yay! But in the winter, let's pretend that you still spend the $100 to use them, but you only save $50 worth of energy because the days are shorter. Now in this pretend example, does it make sense to use the solar panels in the winter? No, it doesn't. Aww. That's called energy efficiency, and it influences every aspect of the living world. 
including trees. Here, let me show you. And this is why trees absorb the chemicals, water, and nutrients from the leaves and store them into the trunk. They do this because as the fall comes, the tree is not getting enough energy from the leaves. So the trunk absorbs the energy from the leaves and then lets them go. And one of the chemicals that they absorb from the leaves is the chlorophyll. What? Did we just learn something new? Now with the green color gone, the other colors can shine through. That's how we get the beautiful yellows and oranges, purples, reds, and browns. And that's why leaves change color. Remember, be curious and ask questions.